I'm Robbie Kinder with this week's Clemson Chat. Last season, after Clemson's first round NIT loss to Oakland, Clemson Athletic Director Dan Radakovich met extensively with Clemson basketball coach Brad Brownell. At the end of the meeting, Brownell walked away with a do better slip and not a pink slip. And do better the Tigers have. Even though picked 13th at Operation Basketball, the ACC's preseason meeting, the Tigers currently sit at a number three seed in the Midwest, according to the Basketball Selection Committee latest release. Eli Thomas has contributed another double-double against the Pitt Panthers as well. And this four-game winning streak has come without the services of Dante Grantham, who went down with an ACL injury on January 20th, and he's out for the year. In other Clemson news, former Clemson star Brian Dawkins has been selected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's a 16-year NFL vet, 13 years with the Eagles, three with the Broncos, and he had nine Pro Bowl appearances. He's a four-time first-team All-Pro, and he had a Super Bowl appearance. He'll be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame on August the 4th in Canton, Ohio. In other Clemson news, we got recruiting. Tigers are doing great in recruiting as well. They've hauled in the number one class in the ACC, according to everybody, and the number five class, according to ESPN. Uh, The class includes six players who ranked as the top player in the state from at least one service. And those players include offensive tackle Jackson Carmen out of Ohio. They have defensive end KJ Henry from North Carolina. They have uh, Justin Ross, a wide receiver, from Alabama. Don't forget about Darian Kendrick. We saw him high school game day broadcast. He came down with the South Point team and he was an electric quarterback. They're going to move him to receiver at Clemson, but uh, look for big things out of him as a playmaker. And 24-7 Sports says Clemson hauled in the number one offensive and defensive player, Trevor Lawrence, the quarterback from Georgia. Broke all kind of records that uh, Deshaun Watson was holding down in Georgia. Number one up player overall, quarterback. He's going to come in right away and compete with Kelly Bryant and Hunter Johnson. Uh, we'll see what he does this spring and fall to compete for that starting quarterback position as a true freshman. Also, Xavier Thomas came down from Florence. He's the Florida Player of the Year and the number three overall uh, player in the country, according to 24-7 Sports. We'll see you Tuesday night at 8 for the walk-ups.